A minister has confirmed that President Barack Obama will suspend U.S. plans to place elements of a missile defense shield in Poland and the Czech Republic. Both presidents, Barack Obama and the Defense Secretary Robert Gates, are expected to speak on the matter later on Thursday. A panel of U.S. military experts has been reviewing the Bush-era proposals and revealed that the threat from Iran, which the shield was supposed to counter, was not as great as previously assumed. Moscow has always viewed the plans as a threat to its national security. Anissa now explains. Call it victory or a reversal of Bush-era foreign policy mistakes, but Washington's move to put AMD plans on the back burner and not deploy just miles from Russia's border have been welcomed as a clear sign of respect for the country's national security. It's a clear sign that the U.S. is taking Russia and its arguments as seriously as their national security considerations. I'm sure that the cooperation between the countries in the field of strategic security is more effective for both Russia and the U.S. than any missile shield plans, any armed forces or military operations. Moscow was vehemently opposed to Washington's plans, which had gathered pace under George W. Bush, who insisted it was to counter the Iranian nuclear threat. But the Kremlin said missile defense against Iran had no place in Eastern Europe and proposed alternative sites in southern Russia and Azerbaijan, which would be closer to the Islamic Republic. During the last year of the Bush administration, the U.S. signed a deal to place missile interceptors in Poland and a radar station in the Czech Republic, which was opposed by many in Eastern Europe. Officially, it was uh, about countering Iranian threat, uh, but you know, the fact is that this threat is non-existent. Iran first now doesn't have nuclear weapons, and moreover, uh, Iran doesn't have long-range missiles. It has just been revealed the plans were dumped by Washington because Iran's long-range missile program was progressing too slowly to pose a threat. However, President Obama has long shown signs his administration opposed the defense plans. In reality, he was against this missile defense from the very beginning. It was part of his campaign, uh, presidential campaign. Uh, but still, I mean, uh, the threat that Iran poses is real. The decision came after a 60-day review ordered by President Obama, and the timing is significant, as it comes just weeks before an October 1st meeting between UN Security Council members and Iranian negotiators. Missile defense in Poland and the Czech Republic was a top sticking point for U.S.-Russia relations, especially during the Bush years. But with the new administration came hope of new policies, which are clearly beginning to take place. Anissa Nowe, RT, Moscow. And staying with that top story, President Obama did not tell the Polish Prime Minister about his decision to drop the AMD plans because a technical error prevented their conversation on the phone. However, an American delegation, including military experts, is in Warsaw and finished negotiations with Polish officials about the issue earlier on Thursday. An official announcement from the Polish foreign ministry is expected later 